Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. It's I, your lovely, awesome host, Boku Satsu, and I am here to be your figure. Well, wait a minute, Boku. This, wait, Boku, this video, this, this video can release on Friday? What's going on? Well, I'm not working. Well, I, well, okay. I did say that there are times that my schedule for my, I think I said in my pocket, but I this, I said, I did, I said something about, uh, Every time my schedule is going to change on what day I can upload and don't upload on the weekends. This is one of those days. I'm not working today, so I thought about hey, how about I go make a video? And well, you guys love the double extreme video, but at the same time, my uh, unfortunately, if you don't know, oh god, fucking YouTube were being brain dead idiots, which they still are, and uh. And uh, a piece of sh in a, a, mo a motherfucker, no, I can't say that, a fucking idiot, I'll say that this website is, let some douchebag falsely claim one of my hardworking videos over a false copyright claim. Thanks, YouTube. You guys really are the greatest, smartest website alive. No, you're not. You guys are fucking idiots for that. Fix your damn website. Anyway. We're here to talk about the SA Figure Art Kamen Rider Pada DX. A perfect knockout. Now I want to make this clear. I want to make this fully clear. I want to make this fully clear. X8 is nowhere one of my favorite. I'm not the biggest fan of that show. But I'll be damned by telling you that first time watching it, I actually enjoyed part of, part of those characters. He won. He won the. He won the best factor that carried the show, in my opinion. But here we have this suit. Oh boy, I fucking love this suit. First off, uh, the scope of it looks really good. It looks looks like the one from the show, and I'm really happy that. Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. I'm really happy that uh, Tamashi back in the day gave us the scope. Now, fourthly, there was supposed to be two other versions of Pada, though, that never came out. That Knockout Fighter and Perfect Puzzle, but, uh, sadly, those never came out. So, this is the only represent, represent we have for Pada, though, in SA Figure form. So, let's, uh... So, how, how's, the, how, how's the articulation? Well... Articulation. This is how far. This is this is how far he goes from here. And from here, this is how far he goes from like this, and to like this. He's a little. He is like a little limited, unfortunately, due to the horrendous but okay plastic skirt. Not the worst skirt, to be honest. I've seen worse. But uh, you can. But uh, you can pose him if you want. Do, 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 do. See, you can pause, pause. You can pose him like that, and uh, you can ask him to do like any like. You, you can also you can make it do like any pose you want to. I will say, if you have like the SHF upgrade neck peg, you might want that for this guy. And I say that because his head is his head is limited for for how far you can do this for. And uh, well, unfortunately, many of the SHF suffer from that. But uh, again, if you have like the SHF upgrade neck peg, I recommend using that because well, that's cause that's gonna be in your favor. If you wanna know how far does his arms go, this is how far his arms go. And crazy though, these aren't like these aren't like messing up the articulation for for how far I can pose his arms. That's really good. 
man, if only other figures like Double Extreme, Double Taro, and Cross Dragon didn't, didn't make, they make their fucking shoulder piece pop up every damn time I play with those figures. Jesus, Tamashi, your horrible QC issue is getting out of hand. And no, I don't, uh, and yes, I do have Gulu. I don't know you, well, how do you say that? I don't trust myself with Gulu before I, before I glue in a figure. Moving on. But uh, yeah, though, this this is how far his legs go. Okay, he has, he has these getting away, but uh, move, move aside from that. Yeah. Yeah, that's how far his, uh, that's how far his hands go. Also, I love how, uh, oops, let me show you this. I love the detail with the driver because I love the fact that, well, one, it's upside down because that's, because that's how it was in the show. Also, you do this and pew. Also, his freaking uh, Gachacon, well, his Gachat, it's painted the exact same color, just like from the show. Man, what, how many? Of course, there's no stickers. Of course, there's no fucking stickers. I don't care for stickers anyway, but uh, man, this figure looks really good. Sucks that he's putting me a Bandai. To be fair. Half the XA line premium Bandai. That's just annoying. And let, me, and let me tell you guys something. This is a Holy Grail figure in my collection. I wanted for a very, sorry, a very long time. Why is that? Because I already find Pado design really cool looking. First time, first time I found it on me, on me. I accidentally did not order. I accidentally, I accidentally did not order this figure. Kai, I skipped. I uh, they had the money on me. But now that I have like now that I'm working like a job, a brand new job in fact, that's making good money for me. <laughs> LL. And uh, I finally, I finally said, "Fuck it, let me go make a monthly order on my army." And well, I found this guy for a good price, and here we are. So yeah, on to his accessories. Cause well, he comes with. I'll say somewhat a lot. Okay, and that pivot this out. So here we have his Gassashan Breaker. Well, his axe. The weapon that he used when he fought Emu, Graphite, Hero. Basically, when he first got this form, he used this axe to Beat the dog shit out of everyone in XA. My lord, that, that fight, that fight still, that fight still brutal to this very day. Here we have his open, his jazz hands. Yeah. His jet, fuck. Sorry. Here we have his jazz hands. <laughs> Jet hands. Okay. Here we have his, well, his fisted hands. Well, his his weapon hands. You can make him hold his, uh, well, his weapon. See, you can make him hold his weapon with those hands. And here we have his regular oh, iconic pose, iconic hand. You can make it regular pose, like from the show or in the box. Not, not, not no pose I'm talking about. Talk about this one. Ooh. Sorry, I'm talking about this one right here. So yeah, that's all. Yeah, those are all his accessories. Pretty balanced, actually. To be fair, this is an old figure, so I, I can't complain, but yeah. Tonight, so now on to size comparison. So we have a lot of things to compare to. Okay, so here he is with, uh, with, with uh, Black Sun. 
and here is with Shadow Moon. And I will say that for those that for those that order Shadow Moon of Premium Banner US, luckily a lot of my friends are getting notifications for their uh, copies of him, so that's good to hear. Oh shoot! Oh. Oof. Damn, they stand pretty well with both of them. All good figure. Even though Black Sun Shaman Moon are my favorites from this picture. And my dog's growling. So here we have him with, with Mel Cluster Hopper. And don't worry, I will get around taking pictures. Make a video on Mr. On Mr. Silver Mane over here. Okay, I don't want to say it like that. And since this is a simple video, since your type of did did well for both of these characters. It, would be, it wouldn't be, well, for all these characters, it wouldn't have been a, a this, this video wouldn't have been what it is if I didn't, oh, hold on, boy. <laughs> if I didn't add uh, Mr. Yukio Ace in there. The U.R. Takahashi crew, as I, as I say it, and my dog's coming in my room. <laughs> hold on, boy. Okay, right, let me go move these. Here he is with, with Vegeta, the brand new one. Okay. Alright, hold on, boy. I'm almost done. Here he is with the uh, SA Figure <laughs> Alpha from season two of Amazon. <laughs> and my dog <laughs> and my dog is barking. Here we go. Hold on, boy. I'm almost done. All right. And for last, here, 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 with the Lightning Collection. Well, Donald Charge Black. Try to, try to put this. Put, okay. And just, just because I'm loving that. Hold on, I'm almost done. <laughs> just because I'm almost, just because I, I'm, I'm loving this figure a lot. Here with the figma of uh, Onyx. All right. Mm. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I'm so sorry about that. So yeah, uh, this figure overall is actually pretty good. It's not perfect, no. Articulation could have been better, but at the same time, if you have like the Kronos figure art. Him and Palado said, him and Palado share the exact same skirt. And but besides that, the figure the figure still holds up pretty well. If you're a fan of XA, and if you love Kamara in general, I will say finding this guy can be pretty hard since at the same time he is a premium bandai figure. But hey, if you can find one for a decent good price, I'm not gonna blame you. Go ahead. But yeah, but yeah, guys, that. That's all for this review. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description. And follow my Twitch account. Because, well, I'm pr pretty soon. I'm, start, I'm pretty soon. I'm starting to start. I'm pretty slack. Follow my Twitch account. Because pretty soon I'm starting to uh, get into live streaming again eventually. Very really soon. I'm tr I'm just, before that happens, I'm, I'm trying to get everything set up on my end. But, uh, yeah. Besides that, yeah. Yeah, guys. Um, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to put the notification button up for the next video. We're trying to hit 2,000 subs. Well, we guys help. I can do that. We can do that, I meant to say. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, guys. That's all. My name is Amber, and have a nice day. Peace.